Originally from San Juan, Puerto Rico, now fighting out of New York City, New York. He is the former junior welterweight and welterweight champion of the world. He is seeking his third world title. He weighs 153 and one quarter pounds. Introducing Wilfred Benitez. And in the blue corner, the champion. Originally from Antigua in the West Indies, he fights out of London, England. He is defending his title for the fourth time. He weighs 153 and one half pounds. Here is Morris Hope. 15 rounds of boxing. So Chuck Hall has the stage set for you. Hello again, everybody. I'm Bob Sheridan. Welcome to Caesars Palace. As you take a look at the tail of the tape, a couple of inches shorter is Hope. He's a half pound heavier, seven years older, and they reach exactly the same. So not a lot of difference there. Third man in the ring, Richard Green giving the final instructions. Look at the stare. Real cocky look on the face of Benitez. I'm going to warn you seconds, you responsible for Big your... Big stare down. Your fighters in the rain. Good luck to both of you. Oh, look at this. Benitez wants to have a street brawl here to get things going. He'll have all he wants from this champion. Corner, Maurice Hope in his fifth defense of his title. And he's getting married tomorrow. This is his biggest payday. Let's see how he performs against Wilfred Benitez. WBC Super Welterweight Championship of the World. That's the 154 pound division. In the WBA, it's called the okay, Junior okay. Middleweight Division. Hey, 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 hey. But it's the 154 pound division. And right away, referee Richard Green is not going to have any of the dirty tactics by either fighter. You notice right away that Maurice Hope, who jabs with his right hand, is a southpaw. Benitez, of course, is cocky because at age 22, he's got an awful lot of experience. A record of 43 and 1, one draw, 27 knockouts. He's a two time world champion himself. He won his first world title back in 1976 when he became the youngest world champion ever at age 17. He won the WBA Junior Welterweight title. That title was eventually stripped from him when he got that automobile wreck down in Puerto Rico and injured his hands, and he was unable to defend his title, but his hands are fine now. Benitez in the light blue trunks, and the dark blue, they actually look black on your screen, trunks is Maurice Hope, the champion. The champion is a native not too far away from the native Puerto Rico that Benitez is from. He's from Antigua, but he's been fighting out of London. Antigua in the West Indies. And of course, the Pearl of the Caribbean is uh, Puerto Rico. Both guys have moved a little bit. As I said, Hope is living in London, and Benitez was born in New York, lived most of his childhood in Puerto Rico, now living back in New York. Managed by Jimmy Jacobs, and of course his dad, Gregorio, works the corner with him. Nicknamed Goyo, for you people that uh, follow boxing closely. Nothing fancy so far. Both guys came here to fight. Hope won the title back in 1979 from uh, Rocky Mattioli. His last time out, won a 15 round decision over Carlos Herrera. That was last November in London. Coming up to the closing seconds of a fairly even round number one. All right, the bell ends the first round and the Fightings continue to throw punches. I guess they didn't hear the bell, it seemed fairly clear to me, but uh, our free Richard Green separates the two. Well, they came to fight. 15 rounds isn't long enough for these two guys. 
They want to get it on. Well, they've got it on. As you look into the eyes of the former world champ, Wilfred Benitez. Gregorio. I'm watching the corner of Weinstein Punch. Across the way now in the corner of Maurice Hope. Listen in, it begins. I have to hear exactly what they're saying, but they say, hey, let them fight, he says the referee, Richard Green. Now he's going to get all the fight he wants tonight from Wilfred Benitez, believe me. Sam, watch the heads, watch the heads. He wants to get that movement and don't bring the heads together when you duck. All right, here we go. Round number two. I thought the first round was fairly even. But of course, sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission. Three judges do the scoring. Joe Swisser. Well, actually, it's Joe Swisser. And Chuck Minker and Dwayne Ford. Ten-point must scoring system. The referee has no say. I hope trying to put some pressure on Benitez. But Benitez fights this way. He can be a defensive fighter. In fact, during the course of his uh, young career, he's been accused of, you know, not really being in peak shape all the time, although everybody tells me that he came into this fight in peak shape so we'll believe what they tell us when we see exactly what happens but he does look in magnificent condition he's in uh, well under the 154 pound limit a pound under for these guys a pound to two one way or the other makes a difference in the division see hope is all warmed up now nice and loose and ready to fight Benitez tries to work downstairs to the body while Hope goes upstairs. It's Hope right now that's forcing the fight. You notice Benitez continues to back off here. Hope gets through with that right hand. For Benitez, he wants to get more of a look at this southpaw style. He's been training against southpaws. He's ready for the southpaw. It's nothing, no surprise to him, but it's still awkward. Looping right hand just raises the jaw that time. No damage done. Hope is right in second gear now. Up on his toes, bouncing around. The problem for Hope is he likes to stand right in front of Benitez. He needs a little side-to-side -side movement of Benitez. We're going to catch up with this guy. Notice when Benitez backs off that he'll faint down, he'll bend at the waist, he'll slide side to side sometimes and back straight back up but he doesn't do the same thing all the time not a good idea to sit in the corner but sometimes he gets lazy and fights like this but he can be like a snake uh, like a cobra and battle out of the corner why with the left hand that time this is round two scheduled for 15 this is the WBC junior well actually it's a WBA junior middleweight championship but tonight the title they're fighting for in the closing seconds of round two is the WBC super welterweight championship as the bell ending round number two all right here we go round number three WBC super welterweight championship of the world Maurice Hope in the black trunks the champion facing Wilfred Benitez, former two-time champ in the Blue Trunks. First round fairly even. The second round, I thought Hope got the advantage, landed more shots. Wilfred Benitez is a guy who you may question his tactics early here, but remember, with 45 fights, he's won all but two. He had one draw, and he lost that one, of course, to Sugar Ray Leonard. When he lost the welterweight championship. Ray Leonard, I see, is across the way here tonight, too. Having a good look at this guy. Who knows? They may have to fight again. That's where coming to you from. From Caesars Palace, the sports pavilion. It's roasting outside, but it's fairly nice in here. Continually 
to get tied up. That's a common occurrence when you have a southpaw fighting an orthodox fighter. Notice the right foot of Hope from time to time in the battle to get position of the feet will step on the outstretched left toe of Wilfred Benitez. Sometimes they do it on purpose and when they hit him, they're actually tripping him and if the referee, Richard Green, who's a veteran, is not gonna be surprised by it. But if there's a strange looking knockdown, sometimes guys get away with it when the referee stands too close. But in this case, in a world title fight, Green knows exactly what he's doing in there. And you see the referee staying back, circling around behind them so he can watch their legs. That's a sign of a good official, and they have some of the very best here in Nevada. South Pole from...